Welcome. We're going to look at a Doppler effect. So I have this example here. If you listen to this guy as he flies past. <laughs> so he's playing a constant sound and I've set up a Doppler effect so that it pitch shifts as he approaches and as he's going past. <laughs> so the way that you do that um, you need a sound cue. So the way that you create those, if I just get my content browser back over here, is you right click in your content browser and you go to sound and you create a sound cue. And then inside of your sound cue, um, you want to go wave player. And this is where you put in the source of your sound. And then you go Doppler <laughs> like this. And then you just plug that into there. And then this here is how you do a Doppler effect. So what this looks like for my flying drone sound is I have a sound just here, ambient humming. Oh, my computer's doing this weird glitchy thing. But that's just a humming sound. Put that into the Doppler and then put that in the output. And you want it to be looping. And then what you do is you attach this whole thing to a blueprint. So in my case, I've got this flying thing where the root of his character is over there and then there's just a sound attached to this mask with a rotating component. So if you look at the sound here, this is the flying drone sound cue, this one, and then when you hit simulate, he just spins around like that and you can see the attenuation on his sound moving like this. Um, the way that you set up sound attenuation is you just go right, oh my computer's been a bitch, but you can right click and you can create a sound attenuation asset and then in your output inside of your flying drone, you put your sound attenuation in there so that it fades in and out as he passes. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Check out the links in the description for my store and whatever, and I hope that was helpful. Bye.